What is up, guys? Welcome back. Give me uh, Valhalla episode uh, 76. That's Scree Valhalla, excuse me. But I just want to touch on something. The last episode, I believe, the previous one's only like half an hour long, 40 minutes long. And the reason for that is it's actually about a... It took me about two hours to do that episode. Um, I got stuck in a lot of it trying to find the shards. I couldn't figure out two of them. And uh, once I did, I yeah, obviously I got it. So the last, the, the last previous episode, 75, was uh, kind of cut up and edited because I just cut out the filler of me running around going in circles trying to find stuff so I just kind of cut it down for time purposes so you guys didn't sit there and watch me run around but I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the last episode and I'm pretty sure we're going to enjoy this one we're coming up to uh, open up the uh, the cave of, of gold in fact I got a weapon here that I didn't really look at remember we were talking about maybe doing like some a beer with a couple of uh, beer a build with a couple of spears and I got this one and I think it's on the last one. If I cut it out, I apologize. I don't think I did. But Spear of uh, Leonidas. Which is attack, melee, range damage, ability damage. <laughs> when having at least one filled, I think that's a um, adrenaline spot. So uh, I think we might go with this one. With this spear. And maybe something like that. You know, like the... Um, the destiny spear or something like that. Maybe do like dual spears or just one spear. I don't know. So maybe we'll do something like that with the next uh, next armor build or whatever if I do one. So anyway, uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Looks like a good weapon. But uh, anyway, let's do it.
There are more coming. <laughs> Myself. You didn't need to come. You missed me. Let me rephrase that. You shouldn't have come. I know my presence makes things complicated. <clears throat> These people are attacking you because of you. I know, I know. Can we talk about them once they're dead? <laughs> I should have been honest about my presence activating the artifact. I'm sorry. And I know me being here. Richie, the artifact's harder. Harder? No one would be trying to kill me if you weren't here right now. I know. Look, trust me. You will need my help when you reach the artifact. These people... I'm not getting rid of you, am I? Don't worry. I'll grow on you. <sighs> I've seen mechanisms like this before. I'll get the light working. You direct the beams to those plates near the door. So, I can move these, I see. Thank <laughs> you. 
to go.
Those parts and weapons are so strange. They're from my land. What are they doing here? It's an illusion caused by the artifact. And you being near it. That mask looks unique. I've torn many of those masks from the faces of culprits. Even knowing their illusions. To see all these things from my... My... Home? I don't have a home. Not anymore. trouble for this. You keep it. <laughs> Admit it. We make a good team. You're not so bad to work with, after all. Terrible at following orders, though. Give me a little credit. It's my first time working with another person in... I don't know how many years. That must get lonely. It does, from time to time. But it's the path I'm meant to walk. Anyway, I should get going. It's not good for me to stay in one place long. Thank you for your help. Truly. Wait. The Norse celebrate their victories. And since in the end you did help, why not come out for a drink with me? I don't know about that. It's not really good for me to be seen by too many people. If everyone drinks enough, no one will ever know you were here. All right. What can it hurt? Hopefully you're here tomorrow morning if we have a great time. Meet you at the Longhouse in Kiltarakl. See you there.
There you are. Ready for that drink? Let's head inside. been to a party in some time. I guess I'm nervous. It's not as though you're going in there alone. I'll be with you. <laughs> I guess you're right. Let's go inside. For a drink? What about you? Hold your mead. Now, if we had been drinking wine, I would have won. Wine? <laughs> That's child's play. Not if it's from Marcos's vineyard. That swill could feel pain from a buzz. Marcos? Who's Marcos? An old friend that made truly terrible wine. You really are drunk. Now you're just spouting nonsense. <laughs> no. No, it's a Greek swear word. It's malaka. 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 That's it. You got it. Now, let me teach the you. The bride and the groom are here. a wedding? It was arrogant to assume these people were here to celebrate us, saving their asses. 
Come, let's join in their revelry. Oh, aren't you the heroes who saved the island and our wedding? I did a little more than she did. But yes. We would love it if you both gave a toast at our wedding. <laughs> we hardly know you. What would we say? But your exploits have made our wedding a day to remember. Please, regale us with your tale. I could be up for that. What about you, Eivor? All right. But if we're going to do this together, Cassandra, let's make it interesting. What do you suggest? A fighting competition, of course. Ah, never tried it myself. I should warn you, though, I've battled wits with great philosophers. Stop boasting and prove yourself. Mm. <clears throat> my day began the strangest way. An axe thrown at my head, tending to slay. There stood Eivor, hot-headed and brash. See us now, you'd not believe our clash. <sighs> it took an ambush or two and one dusty old temple for Eivor to see that I could be helpful. But somehow I've melted his cold Norse heart. And despite her transgressions, I'll give her a fresh start. I really thought this would be better. Eivor did the heavy lifting. Oh my god, I think I'm doing terribly. the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed, chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom, on this historic day, If your love survived this, nothing stands in your way. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. You've really made this a night to remember. It's been a while since I've been the center of attention. How did it feel? <laughs> Strangely familiar. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. It was nothing. No, really. Thank you. I needed this. More than I knew. What do you say we make that bride's day and get rid of that? Don't you mean that? Come for the wedding? I couldn't miss it. My cousin is the bride. And of course, I should thank you. Mm. Clearly, you were able to help my people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here celebrating. 
I can't take all the credit. I had some help. True. Valka put you on this path after all. Was she right, by the way? Did you part ways with that girl? Ranvi, as she foresaw? No. Ranvi was never on the Isle of Skye. Ah, well. Even Valkar makes mistakes. Still, it's good you didn't need to say goodbye to a friend. What an unforgettable night. I should be cautious around here.
The Wolfka. So glad to see you. Mm-hmm. right here when I last visited. It may still be.
obstacle can be overcome if looked at the right way. Enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Angreboda, I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? Loki has stayed in Asgard to help rebuild the damage from a recent attack. How generous. And entirely unlike him. You used to be much better at lying. I am not Loki's keeper. I've come to understand Jotnar magic, your method for moving Hooker from one body to another. The Mead? You seek the Mead? Hirokin! You have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarbova. You will see things my way in time. Who was your visitor? She's powerful and cruel, and none of your concern. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the Red Moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it. see no sign of it. If I look about, I may yet find a way to see the unseen.
This land hides its seekers well, but no secret is safe from me.
reek from this road turns my stomach. <laughs>
I have done as you asked. Now, where is my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. There. An elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We, um... We have been weakened by treachery. Without time to rebuild, we... We may not withstand another attack. Wait. I, uh... I, I did not mean to say that. I, I feel... Strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now, you have said you want the mead, but how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would. I would give all that. And more. I would like to see that. Loki, what trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Javi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you? After what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning, the wolf Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me, what will you do with him? I want to kill him. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for an eye. I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. No, no, no! Wait, wait, wait! No! You could have let me down gently. That would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Suttungr and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgardr. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast, when Suttungr shares the bounty of his cellar. And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor. Say, the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared.
Why do you want the mead? My motives are not your business, as yours are not mine. All you need to do is get it. I must bring a mighty gift to Sutungar, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Sutungur in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Udgarder. Sutungur would be grateful indeed if I returned that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent Scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrimmer's house by the lake near Utgarther. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. Should I search for the cauldron now? Or head for... Here's the tree Hurricane mentioned. Its bark cut deep by Jormungandr's sharp scales. I should look around for the missing cauldron. <laughs> 